Hello, little baby ducks. So the ducklings are a week and a half now. And they are coming out on the grass each day for a few hours when it's hot. And right now, Tyler's bringing the last one out. And that's why they're making that noise. They're like, where is our last friend? Where did it go? <laughs> Cute. See how she was like wagging her tail, getting excited. Oh, there it is, we found it. And the food. Guys, so exciting, you're all together again. These are our Welsh Harlequin ducklings. I'm gonna keep them in this little view of it. <laughs> it's like a dog crate type thing. <laughs> we put a roof on it. And some really ghetto siding because it turned out that they could get out. And today we are gonna let the big geese and big ducks come over here and hopefully everything will be just fine. <laughs> All right, Tyler, let's let those geese out. Here they come, I can hear them. <laughs> How are they gonna do? Look, they're seeing, the, they're seeing the babies for the first time. Look at mommy goose. Can you see her? Kind of eyeing them, like, oh, are those my babies? So, Mommy Goose did hatch out a baby this year. A baby gosling. And we were not prepared to have goslings. So, we sent them to another farm. But she's never seen baby ducks before. And they do look a lot like her babies. I'm hoping that eventually the babies can live with the big ones. Looks like they're doing pretty good. So it's been a little while since we let the geese come and be over here and I've planted all this stuff over here since they were allowed to be over here. And I'm hoping that this little black fencing that I have along here keeps them from eating everything. <laughs> but I don't know. You just can never be too sure of these things. I have it over here too. My blueberries and blackberries and raspberries. So I guess we'll have to check on it tonight. The other thing I'm hoping that they don't eat is I have a bunch of this loofah growing up this cattle panel. It's one of those things where I'm like, it will either be fine and they'll leave it alone or <laughs> that's going to be toast. So, all a science experiment to see what will happen. But mostly, I need the geese to eat this grass because it's getting too long. And where they've been living in the orchard, they ate the grass all the way down to nothing. So, they need to get more grass. Geese eat grass their main source of their diet. <laughs> Playing in their water. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> Adorable. Meanwhile, on the other side, one of the geese is playing in their bath water. It's cute. You have so much grass now, guys. So far, nobody's eaten one of my loofah plants, so that's a bonus.
Ducky's looking for some bugs. These ducks do a great job at getting all the bugs out of the grass. I love it. Oh. The female found her favorite treat in the whole wide world. I had some dandelions that were growing and I let them go so that they could find them when they got over here. Just don't, whoa, don't eat my loofahs. It's my only request. Mm -mm. You guys are so cute. We're gonna get big so fast. <laughs> you guys love water. Ducks are definitely messier than chickens in that they splash their food everywhere. They like put the food in their mouth and then they get the water in their mouth. They keep their food right by their water because of this. They really like to have water right after they've eaten. And then their water gets full of basically, <laughs> it's like watered down feed. And then they play in it and poop in it. And then, like chicken poop, it gets dry pretty quickly, where duck poop just stays wet for so long. <laughs> it's definitely been a learning factor for us in having baby ducks compared to having baby chickens. Ducklings versus chicks. But the ducks are not quite as dirty as the baby goslings were. Those were way worse because they grow so much faster so they eat so much more and they grow so much bigger you know so there you go <laughs> there's my two cents about ducklings goslings chicks and the baby turkeys well yeah I guess they were pretty similar to the chickens but they grow a lot faster than the chickens so I guess I'd say they're messier than the chicks. But you're an angel, right, bud? Never make any messes, would ya? <laughs> he's like totally watching me. I'm hoping that he ends up getting to the point where he's like protective over the baby ducklings. He's really good about these two female ducks that hang out with him and obviously his mate. <laughs> the ducks got in. Kicked the goose out. <laughs> well, I think we have good news here, folks. Lucy is the female. She's in the back back there. She just took a nibble at one of the loofah plants but didn't eat more. So I think that means they don't like it. Which would basically be heaven for me. If I can grow, oh, you making a mess, Emma. I just told everyone you don't make any messes. He makes messes. Big fat boobs. But don't tell anyone, cause he's beautiful. Anyways, I was saying it'd be wonderful like if, if I could have these guys out here all the time and they wouldn't eat all my loofahs because then I can have the best of both worlds, right? Get a haircut. What you working on, Ty? Building the fence. Building the fence. Some real science to this one. 
This is the zippy, zippity, zippity something. Let me look it up. So these are the zippity Madison vinyl gate and fence. We assembled them from a box. Here's the gate. It's got a little latch right there and the hinge is here. So we have to have a way for the geese to get in and hopefully not get back out. Last year we had like um, just some bird netting around the whole outside and it worked totally great until Emmett decided that it was breeding season and he'd get out and come attack us. So Sebastopol geese are supposed to be like the super friendly geese. But, I mean, during breeding season, I'm not going to lie, he was not our friend. <laughs> but that's just because, you know, he doesn't want anyone to mess with his lady so he can have babies. So, this year, they got the cattle panel here and then this zippity fence and hopefully... Ain't nobody gonna get attacked by a goose. Thank you. Get those weeds. the babies. <laughs> they don't seem to be offended by the babies, so that's good. Look at, see the female, she's still trying to come over and see those babies. But if everybody else walks away, then she'll walk away too. I am about to head down to the garden to try to find some tomatoes to eat with our lunch. I was just walking by this area and we just moved our I think they're like five week old chicks out of this area where their poop would fall down here and their extra feed would fall down there and the turkeys like to go and pick out the feed there's so many flies and it's making me think maybe I need some Muscovy ducks can't commit, but I think maybe. Because I have read that Muscovy ducks really like to eat flies. These are our chicks that we just moved down here. This is the first time they've really been exposed to the dirt. And look at them all taking dust baths already. <laughs> They're like fighting over the space. It's cute. Oh, that's so nice. The dirt. <laughs> it's cute. So most of these are our meat birds. I have a couple layers in there with them that are the same age. They're the dark ones are our birds that we're keeping for egg layers. They're a lot smaller than the meat birds, but they're the same age. Because those meat birds grow fast. <laughs> it's cute to see them digging around and playing in the dirt. They're like, this is the best! My four or five weeks of life, really, I've missed out so much on dirt. See, look, there's a turkey right there next to him. <laughs> right there. They're like, I like you guys, I'm gonna hang out nearby. And another turkey over here trying to swipe the food. <laughs> You have food in your pen, which is right there. That is where the turkey food is and water. It's funny. Hello, darling. I think that my turkeys are all girls. Because none of them have tried to fluff up and strut their stuff. 
but only time will tell. We have five turkeys. Did I show you what I've done around the pool? I put this privacy fencing stuff up and then planted a bunch of flowers around it to try to take away from the ghetto above ground poolness of it all. And then I'm gonna get the rest of these bricks put in around the outside to try to keep anyone from stepping on it. But it's looking much better. It was super ghetto looking. This is a pool that was like handed down from one family to the next and then to us. So it wasn't beautiful. Plus, I mean, it's an above ground pool. But we really loved it. It's really helped out with the heat so far this summer. Okay, let's see if there's any ripe tomatoes. Got some fertilizer out. These are all the younger tomatoes. Likely if I have any ripe tomatoes, they're gonna be, huh, there's some over here. So when I planted, I planted like here, then there, then there, like each week. So it makes sense that the furthest out ones would be the ripe ones. Dun, 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 dun. What in the what? <laughs> Twins! That's so funny. I haven't seen that in cherry tomatoes before. Usually you see that in like the big beef steaks. That guy is so close and he is so big. I'm gonna leave him out here, but I really hope the squirrel doesn't find him. Dear barn cats, I hope you're doing your job. It's beastly, doesn't have any crazy cat facing. It's gonna be nice. Okay, it's been three days. You ready to see what's going on? Well, officially the baby ducks love to be outside. The geese still watch over them dearly. Same with the ducks. During the day, the ducks like come over here on the side and um, sleep next to them. It's cute. <laughs> and then the kittens have started kind of coming out near where the geese hang out. I wasn't sure if the geese would like attack them or what would happen, you know? Because sometimes Emmett can be really kind of crazy. 
he seems to kind of like it. So that's cute. And great news. The only person that's abusing, the only person, the only animal that's abusing my loofah is the kittens. <laughs> Look at this one as it stalks past the ducks. See you. What are you gonna do, little kitten? Oh, she's going backwards. <laughs> Are you gonna go for that duck? <laughs> what are you doing, little kitten? Are you gonna come out or are you gonna stay? So currently we have four kittens. Let's see if we can find them all. One. Oh, Declan, read. <laughs> Where's the other one? There's three. Open it. Where's number four? We had one that escaped today and we had to go save it. It was like over in the neighbor's yard. But here's mommy. Oh, Declan, are you trying to get it with your lightsaber? You're so nice. Hi, this is the mommy. There's no. It's like right there. Oh, it snuck back in. Here, kitty kitty. Here, kitty kitty. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh. Nona? That's the one that snuck out today. She was all the way over in the neighbor's yard in like a abandoned lot over there. We had like save her life. She was crying and crying. Hi, kitty. Where'd you go? Here, kitty, kitty. Oh. Cute. Do you need something, Declan? Hi, Declan. Oh, stand by the loofah so we can see how big the loofah's getting. Oh, great job. Is it almost as big as you? <laughs> oh, that is so gross. Are you gonna drink that yucky water? Mommy's drinking that yucky water. That's where the ducks and geese took baths. Oh. Up here we have the bunnies. They're not. They're up in their box. Hi, kitty, kitty. Uh -oh. Aren't they so pretty, Declan? Why? You climbing? Can you open it away? The baby ducks do not love that the black cat is right there. What are you doing, Nora? You freaking out the baby cat or the baby ducks? Hello, ducklings. Do you feel better now? It's kind of chilly. Let's get you inside. It's starting to get cold. Well, we hope you enjoyed our video. I'm just getting Declan ready for bed. Say hi. <laughs> Um, if you'd like to see more, subscribe to our channel and um, click on the little bell at the bottom so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. We um, really enjoy our farm and we hope that you enjoyed what you saw today. This is Christy and Declan from Sapphire Skies Farm. I hope you got a chance today to get outside, get your hands dirty, and enjoy some sunshine. Good night. <laughs>